is our new students. My name is Dr. Peter K. Kamau, the Dean School of Architecture and the Built Environment. Uh, the School of Architecture and the Built Environment is in its fourth year of existence. It began in the year 2016 and it is located in, on the main campus of Kenyatta University in the International uh, Languages and Culture Center uh, uh, since 2019. Previously, it was operating at Royal Campus, uh, but moved on to the main campus from 2019. The school has three uh, programs uh, in architecture, in urban and regional planning, and in construction and real estates. Uh, the programs uh, expect to have their first graduates uh, this academic year. In terms of the, the degree that we offer in this school, you'll find that all the degrees in the programs are professional programs, and you'll expect, you are expected to have a lot of uh, keenness in your studies. I would urge you to ensure that you pay attention to the requirements of the professions that you have, uh, you have chosen to join. I congratulate you for your performance in your exams, which earned you these prestigious uh, posting to the programs that you are joining. I would like to talk a bit more about the common, the nexus between the programs in this school. And what you find is that the program on architecture, the program on planning, the program on construction and real estates are referred to as programs of the built environment. Why is it so? It is because when we are doing building, when we are designing buildings, when we are designing cities, we have to think about where. where in terms of wh what plans do we need to have to ensure that we come up with a settlement? What, uh, in those settlements, what kind of structures, what kind of uh, buildings, what kind of uh, transportation networks will exist in those uh, settlements? And that is the area that planning tries to focus in so in the built environment, the planner will come or will be, will be coming fast. And those of you who are joining the, uh, the program on planning will be concerning yourselves with how do we plan our future settlements. And even in those existing settlements, how can we make them better by planning better spaces for those uh, people living within those areas. And then you have the architect. The architect is a person who deals with the specific requirements for a living space and uh, spaces to do many human activities, including production, including uh, commerce, including uh, even transport. So the architect is concerned with the art of not only knowing how to design the space that is uh, convenient for living, but also in terms of where and in which location. Once the designing of the building by the architect has been done, then you need to construct. That is why we have you, student, you who has come to do construction management. So the construction man managers are concerned about once the design, the buildings have been designed, one, once the engineers have uh, done their structures, uh, plans, then putting everything together is the work of you, the construction uh, management specialist. 
refinery, you have the real estate uh, specialization, real estate concerns itself with the how of bringing about that built environment in terms of mobilization of resources, in terms of management of those resources, in terms of management of the facility once it's put up. How will that uh, building or, be, or those buildings be uh, managed into the future uh, for the convenience of people? I would like to talk a bit about examinations. The way we conduct our exam exams are that we ensure that we have a system whereby if you are not able to make it through the first exam, you are given an opportunity through uh, supplementary examinations. And we urge you, I, I would urge you as your dean, to ensure that at every level you are able to finalize your courses so that you don't carry over uh, supplementary exams to succeeding levels because that would have a negative impact on your possibility of graduating at the end of your course. And the other thing I would really like to talk about is the school common units because those are coordinated more or less. These are programs that you are going to take uh, at the school level. We also have what we refer to as the university common units. If I could first of all talk about the university common units, it is very, very important that you do your university common units, you ensure that you complete them. And after that, that will be in the first and second year, you are at every level, first, second, third, and fourth year, and for the architects, the fifth and the sixth year, you, you have the common courses. The common courses will usually go for the four years, not actually the fourth and the, uh, the fifth and the sixth year. And for those courses, you are expected to also pass in them. They are compulsory and they must be passed. So for these programs that we have in this school, all the courses are more or less compulsory and they must be passed. If you are not able to pass at one stage, you are given a supplementary exam and the supplementary exams are usually given for three, you, you are given three uh, trials after which you are, uh, you, you, you are uh, either discontinued or asked to take uh, a year off. The issue of student governance once you join us as a community of uh, scholars, you have uh, your student affairs. And as students, you are allowed to choose uh, your representatives. This is a process that usually happens every academic year. And you will be expected to have uh, representation through your co Congress people, Congress persons. And at the school level, we have a school congress person who articulates the interests of the, the students. What I would like to talk about is the associations at the departmental level. In the Department of uh, Urban and Regional Planning, we have the KU Students uh, Special Planners Association. At uh, architecture, we have the Architectural Students Association, ASA. In construction and real estate, we have the Association for Construction Managers and the Association for uh, the Real Estate uh, Managers. These associations help you to join or to link up with the professional organizations out there, and we coordinate them at the school level together with the administration office of the school and ensure that we have activities that, uh, that happen. And on activities, I would like to mention that at the school level, we are given opportunity during the culture week, 
the university conducts what we refer to as the culture week and the students, you as a student, you are given opportunities through the school to be able to present your work either as an architect, either as a construction manager, a real estate manager or a planner. So there are various and diverse student activities within the university to cater for you as a student. There are also other uh, organizations, uh, faith-based, there are also, uh, you know, interest-based, that you'll find within the university. So what I am urging you students is to be uh, engaged as you join the university, find your niche, ensure that you have time both for academics, both for your personal life, both uh, and, and that will enable you to grow as a student of Kenyatta University. The other issue that I would really like to talk about is the way our students or our expectations of our students and the type, the nature of the studies in the built environment, planning, architecture, construction and real estate. You will find that it is very, very intensive, very intensive. You will conduct studios and field work and you will write research papers as you progress in your studies. So, as a dean, what I would like to urge you is first, especially when you're in the first year, second year, third year, as you get to learn about university life and about your courses, which are professional courses, you should seek to focus. How do you do that? It is by ensuring that for resident, I would recommend you to seek residence within the university uh, facilities, especially for you new students. Seek residence within the university because the reason why I'm saying that is because you spend a lot of time in your studios. You do a lot of planning work. You do a lot of architectural work. You do a lot of uh, construction work in the workshops, in the fields within the university. Kenyatta University has a wide compound. So there are a lot of activities. Even your academic, most, many ac academic activities that you engage in will be in the field. In surveying, for instance, you'll be working out there. So to enable you have adequate time, I'm urging you to seek residence within the university facilities. This will allow you adequate time to come to the, uh, the, the lecture theaters and the studios without having to look for, you know, for transport, uh, uh, public transport. It will also allow you time to stay on long at, uh, hours. You'll also have, you know, the facilities within the university. You'll be able to enjoy the facilities within the university, both catering and even recreational uh, facilities. So I'm urging you to uh, seek a residence within the university. And that one, I would really, really uh, insist and recommend, especially for the first and second year. And this is from our past experience uh, and for your own uh, good to enable you to focus on this very, very critical uh, uh, point, uh, point of time in your life. So uh, I think uh, with that, uh, that said, I would like to mention or to introduce uh, the chairman of departments uh, within the School uh, of Architecture and the Built Environment. Welcome to the Department of Architecture and Interior Design and Kenyatta University, the Kenyatta University com community. My name is Franklin Mwango, an architect and urban designer um, and I am the current chair of the Department of Architecture and Interior Design. Um, welcome, you have, you, you have, you are welcome into a very exciting profession. Uh, architecture is about uh, designing and constructing of buildings in which you do both the art and the science of it. Um, architecture, what, as, you, as you enter as, a, as an architect, what you are going to do 
in the last first four years, you're going to be graduating as a Bachelor of Architectural Studies student or graduate. Um, as of, at, after four years, you'll not be able to graduate, to be registered as an architect. However, uh, you can work under registered architects or under any of the professions within the built environment for, um, for in terms of your career. If you want to become a registered architect, you will have to continue into year five and year six, uh, after which you, are, you, can, you do the registration examinations and um, get registered. Architecture is about collaboration. Uh, an architect collaborates with, with quite a number of professionals within the built environment uh, because you, you cannot start designing without building approvals, which are approved by the special planners. Um, they do it in a bigger way. Then after that, after you do your design, you have to pass it to the construction managers who, uh, to manage the construction of the building. And there, after that building is managed by real estate managers who sell, um, who market it for you, among other things. As you have started uh, into this profession, one of the biggest uh, things I'll want to remind you is about time management. It's quite involving. It's a technical course in which you'll be able, you have to use your time well. You'll hear a lot about studio. Studio takes about 60%, will take 60% of your next six years, if you're going for the six years. And it's, it weighs three times what, what the other units weigh. That means you need to put all your effort into that. Um, it's a lot of collaboration, as I said before. And because you're mixing arts, science, and also um, mathematics in it, you have to really be able to work together with your lecturers and, uh, with your lecturers and your core students to manage it. However, uh, all in all, you are going to learn so much more about architecture, and I welcome you uh, into this department, and you're always free to come to visit the chairman's department, which is located at the second floor uh, of the International Languages and Cultural Center, and very welcome. I'm pleased to, to meet you soon. Greetings to you all. Uh, my name is uh, Mr. Jackson Cargo. I'm an architect planner and the current chair of the Department of Urban and Regional Planning. First is to welcome you all and to congratulate you for making it to um, the university. Um, the Department of Urban and Regional Planning offers a degree in uh, Bachelor of Science, Urban and Regional Planning, and we also have a diploma course in uh, Land Surveying. So first, as you join the university, is to urge you to take um, your studies seriously from the start do not underestimate any of the units that uh, you will find in this uh, program, including common courses, the school common units, and the core units in the department. So in this, in this program, the Bachelor of uh, Urban and Regional Planning, you will be trained um, to allocate different land uses on geographical space in such a way that you, optimal, you optimally utilize um, resources. For the, for the current and the future generations. You will be given the necessary skills through theory and uh, practical studio courses that will involve you visiting different um, spaces within, the, um, within Kenya. It could be urban areas, municipalities in various parts of the country, um, and also uh, regional, um, different counties. You may also visit uh, different counties to collect data which you will use to practically uh, design um, plans as part of the preparation for this course. So I urge you to take all you need seriously because they count for your degree and uh, ensure that also you attend all classes. It is mandatory for, for you to, to, to attend all classes before you do exams. Um, I wish you all the best as you go through this course and um, when you, you, you attend all classes and do all assignments, I assure you that um, you, will, you should not fail exams. Thank you and uh, all the best. We are located at uh, the International Languages and Cultural Center, second floor, and uh, you're free to visit um, the office at any time.
should you have any issue, um, you're welcome. Thank you. Greetings to our new students. I am Dr. Juliet Gadoni Moiga, and I serve in this department as the chairperson, Department of Construction and Real Estate. Congratulations to you, our first year, year 2020. I take this opportunity to welcome you to the Department of Construction and Real Estate Management. I serve in this department as the chairperson. In the Department of Construction, we have two programs. One of the program is Bachelor of Science in Construction Management. In this, in this program, we take you through the process of constructing a building or other civil structures. And for that, you are exposed to units that are related to design so that you appreciate the process of design. You also do some mathematics and computer co units, also management, so that you can manage the construction process. And by the end, you'll be able to be exposed to methods of research so that you can be able to identify problems in the, in the industry and be able to use the solution after you have been taught to solve those problems. Also, we teach you technologies of constructing the building and this is where you appreciate the sciences that you did in secondary school. And that's why we emphasize that in this program, you must have passed your sciences because we apply the sciences to solve the problems that exist in building. The other program is Bachelor of Science in Real Estate. Here we train you to either serve as a, project, uh, a pro property manager. You can also work as a valuer. In valuation, you can value the natural resources, that is things like land. You can also value the built, built structures, and that's why you also here get exposed to some technology courses so that you can be able to understand the built structures for you to value. Also, you can work as a nested agency. In both programs, the, the, we take four years to finish. The other thing that I would like to mention to you is in your academic life here as a student, you can join professional bodies they accept registration for students. At the moment, we have the, 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 the Construction Management Association of Kenya. We have our students registering in that association. We also have others like Institute of Project, Project Managers of Kenya. They also come for, to register our students for membership, and you are free to join any. Also, for those in real estate, they can join Institute of Surveyors of Kenya. Also, I would like to really congratulate you for this once again, because these are very competitive courses when you, you finish. But for you to finish, you have to be disciplined as a student, and you also have to work hard. Because there are two things that I would like to warn you about, is that in this academic train, you can alight before you get to your destination. And that is, if you become in this print in the university, you can be disqualified. And also, if you fail your academic work. Also, I would like to emphasize that you should be able to work well with the others in the department because at the moment we are ready to work with you and also you should be ready to work with us. Otherwise, if you have any issue, you are welcome to the department of the chairperson. You'll find me there with my other members of staff and we are ready to support you and to assist you. Mm -hmm.